Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah Satuda and today I'm going to be talking about Stony Clover. Um, before I start, I just wanted to say make sure to please subscribe to my YouTube page, which is my name, at Sarah Satuda. And if you would be so kind to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Lifestyle Reporter. And my TikTok, if you want to follow me there, is the same handle as YouTube, which is at Sarah Satuda. Um, but let's just get into it. So I want to talk about like the tips I have and like tricks and advice I have for getting what you want from Stony Clover. Um, I'm a huge Stony Clover fan. I have a lot of Stony because I just, I love the brand. I love their collections. I love their Disney, but I like just generally speaking, their launches are always so well thought out and so well made and just the designs are really fun. So usually launches are pretty crazy and the next one that they have is for Gilmore Girls, but this can apply to any launch in the future, like Disney or not. Um, but I just have some tricks that I've learned um, to be able to get like those very sought after pieces. Like for example, the Halloween Disney collection um, in early October, I was able to get the two bags that I really wanted and it, I use the same tricks that I'm about to tell you. So hopefully it helps you. Please let me know um, if you use them. But I just want to help you get, you know, your stony because they're just so cute. Um, so first and foremost, if you haven't already, just immediately make a username profile on Stony Clover with your first name, last name, whatever your saved address you want, you want it to be. And most importantly, I believe it's shop is the name or maybe Shopify and shop, I think. Save your credit card information on that, like have that um, on your Stony account so that it's literally one click and you can just pay for whatever you want to pay. And I believe you can do it where you can do installments or you can just do pay in the full. So um, number one, open account immediately and include like your saved addresses and then also your saved credit card information and that it's one click the shop I believe it's called shop I probably should have checked this but I think it's called shop where you just click it and immediately it just like has all your information you don't have to input your credit card you don't have to push for like apple pay you don't have to put like your expiration date it's just it's just ready so do that immediately because on launch days they actually close the website and you can't do anything in there anyways so make sure and obviously you know save your like if you can do it on a computer or your phone, like somewhere that you trust where you can automatically sign in like immediately. I don't know if it's like through face, like through your face or like um, just some sort of way that you could just immediately log in. So because what happens on launch day is you are like it usually launches at 7 a.m. Pacific time, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So for me, I'm in California, so it's 7 a.m. So usually what happens at se like I have a world clock like somewhere else, you know, usually I do things on my computer. So I have my phone next to me on like a, a world clock that has the seconds as well. And I'm, I'm watching the clock. And as soon as it hits 7am, I refresh immediately get what I need to get. And I, I don't even think about it. I'll get into more detail. But I'm just saying like, then I go all the way through push, you know, whichever address is my sending address, click the shop where I can pay, and then done. And I think for my Halloween, for the Halloween collection, I think I was about at like 30 seconds um, as how, how fast I was. But let's, I'm getting ahead of myself. So make sure you make an account immediately. That's step one, um, because you need to have that for getting to be fast. And it has to include that the way you pay, like through the shop or whatever it's called. I'm sorry, I should have seen the name, but get that all set up. And number two, uh, Stony Clover always has a plan your buy, which is like a, it's like a sheet of every single product that they are selling in the launch, the price and the name of the item. And it, and it's just a way to like figure out what you want. So this is really important to, you got to sit down and just be like, okay, what do I want? What's in my budget? What is like an absolute, like I have to have it and I, I can't live without it kind of thing. So you have to just kind of plan it out. You don't want any surprises um, for launch day because the problem is like if you think too long or if you take too long it's gone so for I'm just going to use the Disney one the Disney Halloween collection so I really really wanted those two bags the crossbody and the fanny and I, I kind of wanted the, the patches but then I didn't so I just knew that like I I probably I mean my friend was able to get everything in one swoop in one transaction but I just didn't want to risk it like I didn't want to lose those two bags and it was fine if it was at the cost of the patches. 
and I actually made a mistake with that and I will I will talk about that but so for that like this is the same thing with like the Gilmore Girl, Girls launch like sit down with the planner by which you can get if you sign up for their email notifications and text which I actually recommend because it's nice to just like I got a text this week saying that there's a sale I believe on Saturday a Stony Clover sale on everything I think it's 25 percent 25 percent off except any launches that occurred in October so um if you want to get any basics this is a great time to get it because 25 percent off is a lot and I found that out because I saw it on my email and I got a text format from it but make sure you sign up for the email text updates and then also follow them on Instagram so they do the planner by like one to two days before the launch and then on the Instagram they also have like more details about the like, dimensions and they have it on like a model it's nice to see but my favorite thing is when Kendall who's one of the founders of the brand she sits down and she does a video on every single product so there's like for example for the Disney Halloween collection I knew I wanted the crossbody because I love crossbodies I wasn't sure about the fanny because it just was like I don't know I just I don't know if I need it like the design's pretty but then I watched her video and I was like okay I need it and it definitely was like same every collection I'm like literally like and also when they send PR packages, it's nice to see what it looks like in real life versus like a picture on the Instagram. Like it's it, like it's like on a person. You see it instead of like sitting somewhere, like you see it on somebody. So it really helped me to like visualize if I want it or not. So just make sure you kind of sit down and decide, okay, what's my budget? What's a must have? What do I need? And just decide. So if you want, you know, you know, X, Y, Z, you know, pouches from the Gilmore Girl collection like make sure you just know for sure no question about it like that and if you are like me this is like a maybe then you just got to make a decision of like should I should I get this or should I not because it's obviously you know there's a they all come at like a certain price you know it's it's not the cheapest it's not the cheapest products but it's because the quality is so great so you have to you know, but see what you're going to budget and what you want and what are, what are your absolute must-haves and what are some things that you're like, you know what, maybe I don't need this. And that's how I felt about the patches for the Halloween collection. I was like, they're really cute, but like I have this problem where like I don't patch things. Like I just have them sitting in my in my bag. I mean, you, if you've seen my video before on my Stonies, then most of my patches are just like sitting around loose. So I was like, I need those two bags. So you get the plan you're by, you check out the, their Instagram um, to see what it looks like and to size. So I'm going to say like, I want A, B, and C, and there's no exceptions. Um, those are the things I want. And if you want to customize, just wait. Do not customize on launch day because that's how you lose what's in your cart. You cannot customize, you know, on launch day. It's, it's not, you're going to lose everything. You, have, you can get the pieces for your customization. You can get like if it's from the collection. So if you're trying to get like basics, like a basic fanny, don't get it on launch day. Get it on another day. Only get things for the launch that day and do not customize. So if you want like a patch to go on like, on like one of these bags or whatever, like the clear bags, just get the patch. Do not customize. Don't even try because that's how you lose it. The, the thing is you got to be fast. And I know this sounds crazy, but like, if you want to get your items, you've got to be fast because it's limited quality quantities and you just got to be fast about it. So um, customization comes later. You can go to the store or you can, you know, the thing is, is like you can take the risk of trying it, but it's not. No one's going to be fast enough to be able to customize um, during a launch day. It's just too hectic. And if you live far away, then I guess just hold on to the things you want to customize or just maybe try it yourself or just stick it on like a sticker. I know it's not, doesn't look as good, but if you try to customize on a launch day, it's just not gonna happen. So um, that was, I guess was that number two. So just know what you want, know your plan of action. You already have your profile. And then um, what what you need to make sure is that you, um, there. so their minimum is usually $250 for shipping. So just do you want to make it so it hits the quota of 250 so you get free shipping or just going to say forget it and like just pay whatever shipping is or what whatever it is. So just make sure you decide, have a plan of action and then um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So your address, what you want. Okay, yeah, and I've already said it. So once it's launch day, make sure you are up like 10 minutes early, you got everything running and set up, you have your world clock 
and then you're just refreshing and then as soon as you refresh and you see the collection you just go boom 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 add and then from there you um you go from purchasing everything like you go like literally that should be about like 15 seconds of your time go through put your ad you already have your address saved you already have your credit card information from the shop app and you push you just do it you just push send and that's you've done it but just be careful that if you have multiple items like for me like I just had two from the Disney collection I went and I, I did it I think I hit the quota for shipping and I was like well I kind of want the patches but I don't know and I didn't really I, I should have thought about this before I didn't so I went back and I was still kind of like dilly dallying and I was like that, I did that other two bags like within 30 seconds so it took like maybe like two minutes I was thinking about it, it sold out so the patches sold out and that's okay because I just I honestly like I didn't know if I like I wanted it because it's like the hype or like I just wanted it and like I just don't patch things that often so I'm not sad about it because it wasn't meant to be but um just uh, make sure that you know exactly what you want because you can just you can obviously get patches you can get multiple bags you just got to be fast like you can't dilly dally you can't pause you can't think about it you just have to already know your plan and just go, go right through and then eventually you can always patch things um and also if you um are just kind of like i mean some of the bags are like 150 you know 200 dollars. if you just kind of want to have a like a touch of the stony clover collection because it's it's a little like out of your price range i brought actually um something that i forgot to i forgot to share in my stony clover collection um i forgot i had it uh but i wanted to show this that okay so this is a clear pouch from stony and i believe it's 38 dollars. so you can see it's yellow they have all different colors i think it's called banana but this this fanny without this patch is 38 dollars um and i use these more i have the the clear mickey one too if you've watched my video but this patch from disney it's obviously bell um i think it was 20 22 dollars um but anything you customize at stony is a 15 dollar customization fee so if i added like two little hearts it still would have just been one charge of 15 dollars not 15 15 15 so just keep that in mind like when you want to patch something make sure you're completely ready because it's just one charge of 15 but um anyways my point is that if you you want something stony but maybe it's like out of your price range you can always like for the gilmore girls collection you can get like a patch or two and then later on go to the store and oh it's the perfect time so you buy the two patches on you buy the patches you want from gilmore girls you buy it immediately on launch day and then wait till like for example Saturday when they have the Stony Clover sale when it has a sale a sale on everything the twenty five percent off, you buy one of these babies for thirty eight dollars with the twenty five percent off. What is that like five dollars off or something? And then you go to the store and you just have to pay. You've already you know when the patch comes in, and then when your bag comes in, you just go in and you just pay fifteen dollars for the customization fee. So it's like the cheapest way to get like a little Stony in your life. And I honestly use this so much. Like for example. I love using this at the parks because you don't have to take anything out. Like I put my wallet and my keys in here and then the security just obviously looks at it and it's clear. So this is like, and it's a great bag for like wires and stuff or like um, if you want to put your makeup. But if you just want like a little bit of stone, you don't want to spend too much money. I mean, you can't beat this. So you separately buy the launch, launch day patches. Wait till like another day if it's not a stony clover sale, like another day and just buy the the bag and then go into the store and just decide like how you want to design it so yeah so the biggest takeaway is just be ready um do not decide what you want the day of you have to make a plan like the plan you're by and the videos are really essential because it helps you kind of like visualize if you want it and like if there's some bags that you're just like I don't know if I want it or I just like I don't know how I'm gonna use it. Like, make sure you you kind of think about like you know weighing out the options. Like, oh, like this bag is great if you know for me to use it. I can use it every day for like my keys. And like, I always like to think like how often am I gonna use something? Because there's a lot of cute stony stuff, but um, I don't want to just get things and not use it. So like this bag, for example, I use it all the time, and I love crossbodies. So that's why I was like I have to get the crossbody, and I don't necessarily use. For the Halloween collection I don't necessarily use that many like smaller large pouches because I'm just weird so I knew immediately even though they were super darling and super cute I was like 
I already have a few I don't need more so just kind of like make your plan out what you want and then also like at the end of the day these are all things so worst case if you don't get it like for example if it doesn't go through if you know maybe you you hesitated and you know the bag you wanted like didn't go through like for me that was the Christmas collection of last year I wanted the the ornament Mickey and Friends fanny and I hesitated and I didn't actually have the shop um the shop the saved information with the shop app inside of the stony clover website i believe it's shop uh, please correct me if i'm wrong i have to go look at it but i usually like black out when i'm buying stony on launch day but um i hesitated and i didn't have that so i had to type in my credit card information and i didn't get it and i was like upset and i was like oh my god i wanted that bag and then i was like you know what it is what it is and i wasn't able to get it oh well and there are some things, for example, that like if it sells out um, on launch day, I usually check like Mercari, Poshmark, Depop, eBay, um, if there's anybody who's eventually going to sell it. And I've actually gotten some bags that way. I mean, if you've seen my video, you can see that I've purchased some things from that, obviously at a fair price. Otherwise, you know, it's, it's not that like it's not life or death for me, like if I don't get something. But you have to also realize that like if you don't get it, like it's okay. And it's not the end of the world, you know, they do limited uh, quantities and they always have like an, a great, you know, launch coming up or they have something like that's to look forward to. And it's not, it's obviously disappointing, but it, at the end of the day, it's just material things. And, you know, just don't, don't get sad about it because it's not worth getting sad. I mean, it's obviously, it's not, it's not fun, but it is what it is, you know? And also I wanted to say that if you live near a store, make sure you watch their Instagram page because they usually say which stores will have what in the store versus just online. Like I'll give you an example. So the um, Toy Story collection. So they had everything available. It said for like the Newport Beach Stony Clover store. It said they had everything in store, but they had an asterisk by the, um, the backpack, the mini backpack with... Um, God, a oh, Buzz Lightyear. So it had an ask for saying online only. So like, just make sure you see. And they also noted that in the plan you're by that like, hey, that bag is online only. So um, check the Instagram to see like, okay, like I believe for the Newport location, I think it's tomorrow is the launch. They have also a launch in stores because the Newport Beach location, I think, I believe, yeah, it's it's the only Stony Clover um store on the west coast so they usually have a lot of fun events there and they do like the most amazing launches so double check on their instagram anytime there's a new launch to see if they have a launch in the store or if it's an online only collection so the halloween collection for disney was online only so they didn't have a launch in the store so gilmore girls they do and they said like you know a launch on thursday which i know is a school as a school and work day but if you're able to go that's amazing i believe they have it for the next three days is like the like a little party at the store but it's for launch days so the store opens for example in newport beach i don't know for the other locations um it opens at 10 a.m so like for disney launches like i would be there at like you know six i think it's 6 a.m i'd be there like 6 a 6 a.m uh, waiting in line and you know I'd usually get pretty much everything that I want because it's 6 a.m um, but just make sure that you're prepared to stand in line have what you need but um, it, there's a risk like if you're waiting in line to go in the store and you don't order anything at 7 a.m like you're waiting in line till 10 a.m when the store opens there's a risk that you might not get what you want it might sell out so you know it's like you can have twice the luck you can order things 7 a.m. from your phone and then you can just wait to go at 10 a.m. to see if you need anything else so it's a great way to make sure you get everything you want um obviously it's not fun to like wait but it's like a very it's pretty much like how bad do you want something you know how bad do you want to purchase that collection and also when they do have a launch in the store like the Newport Beach location I've been to several launches and they are so fun I've actually become friends with a lot of people there because we're always at the same launches and they always have fun treats and like things to do and I really recommend if you live near a Stony Clover store and they do have a launch for something even if it's not Disney it's super fun like it's honestly such a good time and I'm sad that I don't think I'm able to go to the Gilmore Girls one because I'm not going to be uh, around in Newport Beach but it's definitely worth it. So that's also another opportunity to be able to get what you want if you don't get it online. But just be aware, like you have to check their Instagram to see if they have it at the store. Because some stores 
don't have a launch for some, you know, they for some reason or not. So just make sure you're you're super clear. And most of these things, um, they don't restock. Once in a while, they do. Like I believe the Park and Beach Fanny from Zoe Jokas, um, it actually restocked once. I think yes, it restocked once. Um, so just assume that these things are not going to restock. And unfortunately, like there's people who sell things for like way more than the asking price. And I guess that's that's their that's their that's what they do you know that's their choice but just be aware that like if you are not able to get it it might be pretty expensive online um and how much are you willing to pay for it from somebody else so just be aware that like if you don't get it there are options to get it you can either wait it out until the price lowers until like a more fair more fair price in your opinion but usually these things are very limited so they don't have restocks unless you know, it's just lucky, but you can also, a great tip is to sign up for, to get notified, um, on the app. Um, also you can call the store that's near you and ask them to put you on like a list of people. Like sometimes people come and return things and that's how you're able to get it. So have, so I believe you can do it online and like and get notified. If it doesn't give you that option, 100% call the store immediately and ask them to put yourself on the, the list. So if like, for example, if the bag, someone comes in and returns it, then you're, you're like number one on the list, number five on the list. So it's, or if they get like a little bit of a restock, they find more products, they, it, it's possible. So just make sure like if you aren't able to get it online um, or on the, like you're not able to go like at the launch, like at a certain time, call and like just tell them, put your name down on the list for to get notified in case somebody does a return or if they have more of the product because I know people who have been able to get it through that. So definitely use that to your advantage. Um, trying to think what else. I mean, honestly, like I'm telling you all these things from like my experience of being able to get, to get the stuff I want. Um, I know it's like not that serious. It's just things, but like, it's pretty like, it's, it's sad when you're not able to get something. It's like, you know, it's like limited stock and I know for like the Halloween collection, they had like a pre-order for people. So they're able to get it, um, certain things like in January. So just keep an eye on their socials to see if they, they drop more products or they like, it's really essential to like keep yourself informed if they do have more, but just be, just be ready to, you know, say, okay, well I tried, but, um, obviously I hope you get what you want and I definitely think that the Sony Clover brand is like worth it. It's honestly the cutest things you can wear inside, outside the parks or, you know, whether or not it's Disney, but I definitely think that just be prepared and know what you're doing before you get in there and let me know if you have any other questions. I feel like that is all my tips that I can give you and my knowledge of Stony Clover. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful and I definitely, oh, and if you wanted to know about my scrunchie that I was talking about that I was missing for my Sony Clover like collection, the one that was the Grogu one and how I wore it to Star Wars night, I still can't find it. So I'm kind of bummed about that. I looked up and down in my room and I still couldn't find it. I, I know it has to be somewhere, but I also found a pink scrunch bag that I forgot to show and then, and then this, but yeah, I, um. I wanted to mention that if you guys were wondering, but I hope you found this helpful and please let me know below if you have any other questions. Um, and, um, I guess I will talk to you guys later. I still have that Disney ear video coming up. I'm probably going to plan it to film it in the next couple days. And I also have a haul from Forever 21's Disney collection and a couple vintage items that I think you guys will enjoy. So until then, have a lovely rest of your day, and I hope you guys get everything you want from the new collection. Bye!